News of North Carolina remaining in phase two sent shockwaves throughout the state. Guilford County Representative John Hardister says the leadership at the North Carolina General Assembly was left in the dark until the governor's announcement. He says he was disappointed in the decision. Look, I know that COVID-19 is a serious problem and nobody refutes the fact that COVID-19 is dangerous, but there are people who've already lost their business and more are going to lose their business. The, the fact is COVID-19 is, is not going away anytime soon. Bars, restaurants, gyms, and bowling alleys were all hoping to open as a part of phase three. Hardister says he understands the governor's initial decision to shut the state down, but he says there are a lot of inconsistencies in the governor's order as it stands. A brewery can open, a distillery can open, but a bar cannot. Uh, you can go to a restaurant, sit down, have a drink, but you can't go to the bar. Um, a lot of businesses are allowed to open and, and have remained open, retail, um, home improvement stores, but you can't go into a gym even with limited capacity. Hardister, Hardister says there are thousands of businesses across the state that may not be able to hold on very longer. He says there has to be a better balance of safety from the virus and the health of our economy. I think that the vast majority of our citizens are willing to do what's right, but we've got to get these businesses reopened because if the economy were to falter, you're going to have a, a different set of problems. It's going to be really bad. Now on Wednesday, Governor Cooper also announced a statewide covering mandate that takes effect tomorrow at 5 p.m. Hardister says he believes people should wear masks, but it should be a matter of personal responsibility, adding he's not sure how enforceable the order is. North Carolina could enter phase three by July 17th.